Julian Jordan Thunder is an absolute hit. The production and mixing are super fire. Today I'm going to show you two important lessons about this hit song. Now let's get to the first section of this tutorial. This is a very creative lead sound. It is full of pitch bends, distortions and reverb automations. First let's take a listen to the solo of this beautiful lead sound. Here in sound design guys, very simply I have chosen basic MCB from the analog section. I have added 7 voices of unison right here. The wavetable is at 162. This is the shape of the waveform. Here is the envelope shape. And here, as always, I have used this technique with a little bit of envelope right here. In matrix section, I have modulated master tune with envelope 2 to add a little bit of a tack. Let's turn this off. This adds a little bit more power and a little bit more dynamic to the sound. But guys, always remember to decrease the output because if I increase this, you see this is a little bit too much. And in the oscillator section, I have added some noise. This is from analog section, ARP circuit. This is a beautiful noise. Let's turn this off. The sound becomes smoother, but with the noise, it becomes harsh and hard, which is what we want for this drop. And in the effect section, first I have added some hyper dimension right here. And I have added this because I wanted to add some texture to this oscillator that we have. Let's turn this off. Next, as always, I have added some OTT, a lot of distortion. And again, here I have added some chorus. This is again because of the texture that I wanted to add to this sound. Let's turn this off. If you listen to the sound closely, you can hear the textures that I'm talking about. First from this hyper dimension, second from this chorus. And in the mixing section, I will add a little bit more textures with other chorus plugins. And that's it guys for here. But one important thing for this sound is to make it mono, hit the always button and add the portamento right here. We want to make the sound to have a pitch bending effect in every note for a little bit. But the real pitch bending is in pitch bending section, I play the sound and pay close close attention to this pitch band right here. This pitch bending effect is an effect that makes most of the Julian Jordan drop lead sounds. This is very important. Let's take a look at the automation of this pitch band. And guys, here you have to pay close attention to the changes that these pitch bands make to the sound. Let's see. Let's zoom in a little bit more. This one is normal, but here we have a pitch bend like this. And here we have a pitch bend that starts from the lower semitones, goes up and gets to normal at the end. This is very important, guys, to make this lead sound. Next, here in FX section, as always, I have used the frequency shifter for a very important and subtle change to the sound. Take a listen closely to the sound. I turn this off and then I tell you what happens to the sound. If you pay close attention to the high frequencies of this lead, you can figure out the changes. This frequency shifter is making the lead a little bit darker than it is right now. This is off. This is making it darker, which it is what we want for this drop. Next guys, as always, I have a row of saturation and distortions. I turn these three off. Let's see. We are adding a lot of power to this sound. Next, there is this lovely trick that I use a lot. This is Echo Boy with this delay here in the presets classic 30 IPS. When you choose this one, this gives you a very short delay, 64 milliseconds of delay, and this makes your sound thicker. I turn this off. This is very important guys. And as you know, mixing is about adding small changes to your sound to make it as good sounding as possible. Next, I added a little bit more distortion with Camel Crusher British Clean preset. I wanted a little bit more distortion, especially after this delay. 
the small change, but very important. After that, taking out the lows, adding OTT, adding a little bit of multiband compression, some EQ, not a huge difference. But here again, my lovely plugin, Fresh Air. This is adding more high-end and shimmer to the sound. Let's take a listen. Very important. I have added 49% right here and in the mid air, 20%. Next, a very important one. I use this one always, but this time I have lowered the attack of the sound. I wanted to make the transient that we have added to this sound a little bit more smooth before. Oh, this is very harsh, but with this one, this one makes the lead to sit perfectly in the mix. Next, I removed some harsh resonances from the sound. And here in this step, I have used the tall chorus. This is one of the most professional chorus effects that I have heard. I really love this one. And this adds a very, very smooth texture to your sounds. I turn this off. The sound is very harsh, but with this one, it becomes a beautiful one. And guys, the next important step here is using reverb. There is nothing complex here. I have used the preset golden plate. This has three seconds of DJ. I have automated the mix here. Let's see what's going on. And guys, here is the trick. And I think most of you know about this trick. After the note is ending, I increase the reverb. And here it gets back to zero. Here the note plays. And I want it to be on rhythm and I groove instead of starting from here. I have started from the start of the grid. And here is shape. And here this shape. Let's take a listen. I turn the reverb off. This is a huge difference to the sound in my opinion. And that's it guys for the lead. If you have found this video useful so far, please consider liking, subscribing and hitting the notification bell. And this gives me a lot of motivation to make more stuff like this for you guys. Thank you friends. This drop might feel complex when you listen to it, but it is very simple. There are percussions layered with the main lead plus fast 16th notes for the bass. First let's take a listen to the solo of these drums to get the feeling of the groove that these drums have. Part 2 Very simple drums guys, just there is one element that is making these drums interesting and it is these percussions. These percussions are simple percussions which are distorted and they are hitting very hard and one important thing about them is the changing of the volume of each hit to make it natural. Let's take a listen to the solo of these percussions first. These are the same samples, but I have color coded them for you to make it easier to explain. The first percussion is minus 3 dB. The next one is 0 dB. Here is minus 2.5 dBs. And here is again 0. I have made these changes right here. And this is the natural way of doing percussions. And another important thing is that these percussions are playing with the rhythm of the lead sound very beautifully. Let's turn the lead sound on. With the metronome off. And with the kick. And guys, after these percussions, the next important character of this drop is the fast 16th note basses that are playing underneath. Let's take a listen to the solo of them first. And they sob at the end of each bar. Now guys, I turn the main lid off and I want you to listen closely to the back beat of the drop. The back 
Fresh Beat is very simple, but at the same time very creative, and the sound selection is playing an important role right here. Everything is glued together, everything is sounding so powerful, and everything is completing each other. Thanks for watching, friends. If you have any questions about the tips that we talked about today, just ask me in the comments, and I love you so much. Bye.